Hello techies. Welcome to Automation Anyway Tutorials. My name is Amir and I am a senior programmer. This is session 4, Introduction to Automation Anywhere Client. In this session, we are going to learn about the client dashboard overview. The client dashboard basically having toolbar, menu bar, automate and manage panel, task panel and future panel. I will explain you one by one by switching to the Automation Anywhere client. In the previous session, I have shown you how to log in Automation Anywhere client. If you see on my screen, this is called Client Dashboard. The top first one is called Menu Bar. If you see, the File, Edit, View, Tools, Help, Feedback. This is nothing but Menu Bar. Below that menu bar that you will find a toolbar that is nothing but new, record, run, edit, ROI. So I will explain you one by one. New is nothing but to create recording methods available on the automate window. Nothing but we are going to create a new bots or the new task by using the new. There are two options. Let me show you that. When we are going to click new, it will ask choose an option. No, this is kind of recording that which I have seen. Smart recorder or workbench. Based on the requirement that we will go ahead and we will use this option. Fine. Now, record. Record is using for the screen or standard record for the details. Let me click on that one. You will understand very easily. If you see when I click on the recorder it will ask what kind of window that you want to record there's a lot of windows on my screen if you see settings powerpoint films tv settings these are all the microsoft store or microsoft Edge. which window that you want to record you can choose it over here and you can start it it's nothing but if you have any kind of browser if you have any powerpoint all these things you can go ahead and you can start the recording by using record option now, as of now that I'm not going to create any kind of recorder, that is nothing but I'm not going to start it. I'm just clicking on cancel. Now, run. This run, you know, whenever you have created a task, if you want to run the task, you're going to be using this option while you're going to be, you know, running this task. Okay, now edit. In the same way, if you have created any task and you are going to running it, so if you want to modify anything, then you are going ahead and you are selecting this edit option, which is nothing but referably, you know, we are going to be using workbench for the details. When I have shown you new, there's a workbench. Okay, that is where you are going to be showing this, you know, we are going to be editing the task. Now, ROI. What is the full form of ROI? Return on investment. You have created some task, you have created by using automation anywhere, then you have launched it, and then you will find it out this is the ROI by using this ROI calculator, you can display how much return has been done on the particular task. This is all about the menu bar. Now, if you see on my left hand side, you will find automate and manage. These are all the two panels that we are having. If you see under the automate that you are having the tasks, it is nothing but taking up the most workspace that you are going to creating relevant tasks in the details column, such as file, name, description, creator, duration, size, hotkeys, and status. So if you see there the sample uh, tasks are there. If you see over here, what it is showing, the files which has been automatically, you know, by default it has been given by the Automation Anywhere client, what type of file it is, what, when you have to repeat it, what is the status, when it has been last run. This is nothing but, you know, the task given under the Automate. Okay, in the same way, you will find the Metabots. Metabots list shows that, that you are designed by you. These are the Metabots which you have been designed. The Metabot is the automation blueprint of an application that can be reused to optimize the process. In simple words, whichever it has been created by you, the Metabots to optimize the process will be displayed over here. Now, we'll see about the workflows. 
the workflows will uh, help you to build process flow diagrams in graphical environment okay so i will explain you one by one when i am going to creating it now if you see manage over here until now that we have seen automate now we are going to click on the man manage under manage you will find repository schedules triggers and reports let me go for the re repository first what will repository will do repository will communicate with your with the control room to upload and download task bots meta bots iq bots and workflows if you see this is one kind of repository and the client repository nothing but your documents on all this where it will be stored over here if you want to store in server that you will be stored over here okay this is called repository now let me go to uh, let me close this and let me go to schedules schedules is a convenient facility to manage automated bots so the automated bots when you has to run all these things if you see on my screen when it has to run if you see date week month you can add it the you know when you have to run the particular bot or if you want to edit it you can go ahead and you can edit it if you have if you want to delete the bot uh, schedule then you can go ahead and you can delete the schedule by using schedule manager now let me go to the triggers if you see these triggers are connected to your task okay it will be very, you know the task whichever has been created in the automate it will be connected to that one by using this you can enable and disable selected or all triggers as well as adding a or modifying or deleting specific tasks using the triggers by using trigger manager you can see you can add it you can edit it you can delete it for the time being i'm not doing anything as of now now let me go to the reports it will provides graphical report that will be displayed the status of the task and workflows as well as the roi return of investment over time now let me go to the control room when you click on the control room this will launches the control room to which you are connected by using credentials it will provide a control room admin to login okay as of now what you have to do you have to provide the username and the password which you got in the mail i am closing it as of now now we will see the panel for the task relevant activities if you see the below one this is nothing but task panel uh, that is the task panel for the relevant activities if you are going to select anything and you uh, you know any task any file name then related property schedules triggers will be available first of all we will see the property this is the general properties hot key security analysis security analytics these are all the things it will be available in the properties so when you click on the schedule when you click on the schedule schedule you, it will schedules the automated task to run at the preferred times that is the reason if you see launch task what kind of task that you want to select it is it only only time basis or what time one time only that you are going ahead now let me go to trigger trigger type to be selected the task it will automatically runs the task in response to an event that occur on your computer that is nothing but if you see in the manage that you found the schedule stickers kind of thing if you see on my screen that we are having future panel one is the thing that if you see that is search help if you want to search anything you can search it over here and also if you see any status there is a bell icon that receives trial status task failure and external notifications over here this is overview about the automation anywhere enterprise client thank you for watching automation anywhere tutorials i will see you in the next session till then bye bye